Hey everyone, so today we have another unboxing and review video. Today I have with me the KM300 RGB gaming mouse and keyboard combo from Lenovo. And this is a Legion uh, mouse and keyboard. Now I did find this on the Lenovo website yet again. I uh, purchased this on their uh, springwide sale for uh, $53 and that's including taxes and shipping. So um, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here it is unboxed. Here we have the, uh, the mouse. And it is a wired mouse and it is a wired keyboard as well. Uh, that's why it was uh, pretty cheap for the combo here. They do sell wireless versions of the uh, keyboard and mouse. However, uh, you know, those do cost a lot more. And here's the keyboard. Keyboard does have some weight to it, um, obviously because it is an RGB keyboard, um, so that is expected. So let's go ahead and plug this in, and uh, we'll go ahead and see how it goes. Alright guys, so I have it now hooked up to my uh, laptop here. So let's go ahead and uh, bring the camera down so we can take a closer look. Alright, so once you plug it in, it does have a default setting, it just, uh, it's just RGB all the way around. Uh, I did read the manual a little bit here, so we can change that setting. Uh, same thing goes for the mouse. The mouse does have a, uh, it goes, it cycles through its RGB there. So let's get a closer look at the keys. And there is the laptop that was in the previous video. Let's go ahead and change the settings here. All right, so according to this manual here, you can change the keys. Let's press the FN key with any other number of these keys here. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Let's switch the backlight color, see what happens. Okay, I thought it would just have one static color. Let's see if we can change that. Okay, so apparently that is the only settings here for this keyboard. Um, we're unable to change it to just one static color of your choosing, unfortunately. Um, to me, that is a negative here as I'm uh, not really a big fan of all these colors going on at once. I do prefer just one static color, uh, which is blue. Unfortunately, this version or this model does not have that ability to uh, to have static colors um, and the mouse as well. So the mouse, uh, there is no way for you to change the color here. It is just a um, all, all the time RGB it cycles through all the colors. So uh, there's that. Um, one thing I'm in the middle about with this keyboard is the fact that it is not a mechanical keyboard. Um, it is a soft touch here, um, and let me see if I can get the sound to pick up on this. I don't know if that can is if that's been picked up with a mic here, but let me uh, let me keep typing, just so you can kind of kind of hear what it sounds like. So, uh, yeah, I am in the middle of this. I do prefer the, uh, the mechanical keyboard. I like hearing the clicky clacky sounds there. Um, 
like I said, for those of you who prefer the mechanical keyboards, uh, the feel and the sound, uh, this will put you off. Uh, as for me, I am in the middle. I, um, I like how it is soft to the touch, but I do prefer the mechanical keyboard uh, better. So uh, for the mouse, I mean, the mouse is honestly just a regular mouse here. Uh, it does have two extra buttons here on the side. Well, actually four extra buttons. One, one, two, three, four, which you can map to anything that you want. You also have the scroll wheel and an additional two more here that you can map out as well. Um, the mouse is, it's light, you know, it's not a wireless mouse. Uh, I do own a, a couple of Corsair mice for my uh, rig. Uh, they are heavier, you know, due to the wireless nature of it. Um, however, this, it is pretty accurate. Um, again, you can go ahead and adjust the scroll settings in Windows. Um, and so let's just go ahead and click, click here. The clicks are good. Clicks are good. Nothing to uh, write home about. All right. So that's uh, that's my review and unboxing of the uh, Lenovo Legion KM300 RGB keyboard and mouse combo. Now, a couple things, you know, like I said, that I did not like about this was the fact that you could not choose a static color for the zones here. I prefer static colors. Um, right now, as you can see, it's set to the uh, the wave form here, where the colors are moving left to right. It does have a static color option, however, it is green. So if your favorite color is green, um, which mine is blue, then you know maybe you would like this keyboard. Um, another thing that I'm in the middle about is the, uh, the keys. Now the keys aren't mechanical, they are soft as a touch, like I said. Um, they do not make as much noise. Uh, however, you know, a part of me does like the mechanical nature of the mechanical keys, especially the sounds and the clicks and the clacks of that. Um, so if, you know, it's not a big deal to you, not a big issue, then, you know, you can go ahead and um, have this as your keyboard. Now, the other thing that uh, I'm also in the middle about is the mouse. Uh, the mouse is not heavy. It doesn't have any weight. And that's obviously because it is not a wireless mouse. However, I do like my mouse to have some weight. I know some of the Razer mice are a little bit heavy there. I just prefer just a little weight in my hand, especially if I'm playing first-person shooters. I don't know. I like to feel you know the mouse in my hand and actually move the mouse. Um, you know, other than that, could I recommend this keyboard? Yeah, I can go ahead and recommend this. Uh, the price for a combo is fifty-three bucks. Um, you know, if anything, for the name Legion is the reason for the cost there. However, there are better options out there. Like I said, if you prefer mechanical keys um, or static zone, one color RGB options, then yeah, there are a lot of other unknown not brand name keyboards and mice out there for to choose from so if you know you do like lenovo and you like the legion series now go ahead and purchase this it is 53 dollars, like i said uh, however there are other options out there all right thank you guys for watching uh, please like and subscribe it's just so i know that i'm doing a good job and if you guys like seeing what i'm putting out all right i'll see you guys next time